Just two weeks before Taiwan's presidential election on January 16th, the three candidates met for their last televised debate. As expected, the opposition Democratic Progressive Party's Tsai Ing-wen and ruling Guomindang candidate Eric Zhu butted heads as each tried to prove they were the better candidate. The smaller People First Party's candidate, James Song, ended up gaining points simply by being spared attack. Zhu went on the offensive from the start, criticizing Tsai for lacking clarity and substance in her policy proposals. Tsai considered the front-runner in the race, pointed out that people have lost confidence in the KMT after its eight-year rule, in which it not only failed to reach its goal of improving the economy, but has been criticized for a lack of transparency and poor communication with the public. Song urged voters to give him a chance. He's run for president and vice president several times, but has failed to win each time. Song criticized both the DPP and KMT for constantly battling each other. The candidates were grilled on a variety of issues, from economic matters such as the minimum wage to judicial reform. Tsai said she aims to not only revive Taiwan's economy, but also to strengthen its democracy and unite the country's people. Zhu said that a vote for him is a vote for stability, and he vowed to correct the inadequacies of the KMT. Song summed up his points by simply holding up a sign showing that his candidate number, the number three, was greater than the sum of his opponent's numbers. CNA, Taipei.